Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn today. And today we've got one of the bigger projects to work on. But uh, first, we've got a couple of smaller projects to finish up in this area. Obviously, we've got to get all our industry in here, but that is already laid out. So we just got to wait for them to get these buildings built. However, I would like to get some automation in over here so we can get beavers properly populated into these uh, water pumps. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is start off with that, and we're just going to put one there, and then we're going to put one down at the bottom. And hopefully when those get in, we will go back and link each one in. This one is fine where it's at, because it'll just run these two bottom ones, basically. Also, I'm noticing they're having to go all the way up and around to get the water and take it all the way back around this way. So we're going to make them a little bit of a shortcut here. We're going to start with this. Let's get ladders up here. There we go. We'll just say you guys can go straight back and forth right there. Should be fairly effective. Next, I know for this area and probably for some of the expansion that we're going to do eventually on it, we are definitely going to need more beavers. Right now, we are 20 behind and only have 12 kids. So even if all the kits suddenly were able to work, we still wouldn't have enough people. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to put in some more uh, lodges. So let's take these out. And what I'd like to do, I think, is we're just going to copy three more here. There we go. And let's get some decoration blocks in here. We'll get the wooden ones in. About two by twos to go here. Let's get a corner piece, uh, something like this maybe. There we go. And then can we do one by threes in the front? One by three one by three and a one by two here because we're going to need some way to get up there we will toss in some stairs normally i do well actually we could do a decorator stair yeah that looks nice let's do that toss this in here here we go one path around and for the roofs here let's see what we have in that nice expanded roof section we have a two wide roof what do we have a roof a two by four uh let's see what would this look like if i did well i can't get it directly in the middle there can i do i can do each end that'll be nice what about putting a beaver statue right here yep and then we'll put a small bush in front of it small ish bush in front of it we'll pause that though so that they can get those built let's also toss in the gates let's make one here one here and at some point if we need some more houses we can build up along the back here i think i'd also like maybe nice bush fence around here and here we go There we go. That's a nice marked off place for whatever we might happen to need. So we'll let them work on that. Actually, I'm going to need to take this out of here because I need a way to get up here. We will put in one of you and we will put in ladders here. There we go. We'll come over this way and we'll say go there build all of that stuff for us let's grab some more roof decorations here can never have too many roof decorations i guess let's do one two three four we'll do a big chimney how about the industrial no what's the bakery one yeah i like the bakery one we'll do a bakery and a bakery and we will let all of that get put in there. Should be here in just a bit. So, in fact, they've already got a couple of them in there, which will definitely help out. 
Our string gauges are in over here, so let's just set it up so that it pauses when it's below zero and unpauses when above. And we'll just do that for all of these. Kind of wish there was a copy on these. Pause when below, unpause, and at least this first set will be set up. And then I can go through and set up some of the other automation for this. There we go. We'll get all of these set up and everything working there as well. But uh, we'll take a look at that here in just a minute. It took us a minute, but we did get our dam over here mostly automated. But in that short amount of time, we got all of our houses in. We have got all of this in here. So we can go ahead and take out this here. Because we don't currently need it. There we go. We'll remove that and put you over here. And now... I think that'll work out just fine. I think it'll look good. Everybody should be happy with it. And we can look into starting our large project. Great job on all those houses and changes, everybody. Now we've got our big project in for the day. Here's your plans. Take a look and tell me what you think. Yeah, I know it's a good distance. That's all right. Not a big deal. Just some walking. That's, uh, that's an interesting opinion. But you're still going. No. No. I don't appreciate that tone. And I didn't know that beavers had a middle finger. Weird. Yep, you heard it. We're going to be building dams all the way around the map. It's going to be a long walk for some of these beavers, but... Like I said, we'll see if we can set up some snack stands and maybe, just maybe, maybe one in here or over there, uh, maybe they'll be a little bit happier with it. Who knows at this point, but we are going to do, we're going to do one major one all the way across here. We're going to do one here, and then we actually will need to do one here as well. However, this third one doesn't need to go in quite as quickly as the other two are because the river's got to overflow up to this but it will overflow up to this because it's a height of three whereas everything else will be a height of four so let's go take a look here and this part of the dam is actually going to have to go up one so what we're going to do here is just remove all this and that and let's remove all of the roads here there and we're just going to go with blocks themselves just on this one to keep up the look there we go there we go and here i'd like to get some of these trees so we will put in a staircase let's say about there we'll take the path just come all along here and we'll go up this way too Let's say we want, um, how about that? Well, let's, let's put it facing the right direction. That will probably work a little bit better. We'll do that. And this, we'll make sure all of these trees are ready to be cut. There we go. Eventually, that's all going to be flooded, but if we can use them to make some of the dams, that will sure help out. But let's continue on with our our dam here. We're going to have to go... There we go. Over this way. We'll have to remove that tree. Get rid of that one and that one. And it looks like quite a few of those... So, let's get our stairs in. Here we go. Stairs there, there. And we will say... Let's go ahead and remove all of those. There we go. If we need more trees, we'll just chop more and more of these down. But a lot of this should become usable land eventually. Or at least land that's close to water. That, that's at least the plan, and I hope that's the way it goes. But these beavers got to get over here first, and they have quite a bit of building to do. 
And since they're just across this dam, let's say we will put a small stack snack stand right about, let's say here. Let's do a small water tank for them. And then we're going to make sure that it's water and you are going to obtain. And that will be the first thing that's done. And here we're just going to say carrots, obtain, and they should have a bit of a snack. So hopefully if they get hungry working on this next part, they'll come back to the snack stand here. Let's take our stuff down the other side here. There we go. Now over here, I don't really have to use the one blocks to keep the same look. So let's say we use something a bit bigger here. How about some three by threes? There we go. We'll do three by three there. That covers most of it. How about a two by three here? Nope, I want a three by two. There we go. And then we'll just do the one single block here. And we will run dams here to let out the water. And of course, we've got to take the path all the way around as far as we can. There we go. All the way through here. Get some stairs. Stairs, stairs, more stairs. Path goes up and around and all the way over to the corner here. And I'm sure eventually this will be a different district. But for the moment, we don't... Uh, it's just going to be one really long walk for these beavers. But you know what? Better them than me. So they can come over here and build. And then they'll have plenty of water and should be much happier. So we'll get these last pieces in here. There we go. Let's grab these. We'll grab all of this here. You can go in here. You can go in here. All the way across here. We'll put in another small snack stand. Let's just say right up here. For now. That can go there. There we go. We'll do some water. We'll do some carrots. Definitely obtain pain and they can have that on their way back so they get back earlier i think there's a tree in here we got to remove let's see ouch go all right they can work on all of that in fact we might let's say large no i don't really need a large let's let's go with the medium one medium and we will do actually let's do two of those since we're going to need planks so here, we'll set up logs, obtain. Here, we'll do planks, obtain. And they'll bring those over and help with this. And then same thing over here. I think it's just going to be logs, though. So we will just do one of these and say logs, obtain. And hopefully our builders will pull from there and not try and walk all the way back to pick up one log and put here. slight mistake on these this should have been all set to one but those are fixed however most of the other stuff seems to be okay so we've got plenty of water still coming in here everything is working out there our population is going up so looking good i don't know how the energy looks like we could definitely use some more energy here so let's put in a couple more of these some of these, and we'll say those are slightly more important so they get done. We'll take a road over here so we know that they can do them, and then they should be okay. It looks like, though, we've got some injured beavers over here, quite a few injured beavers. So, not a problem. We can take a couple more tents. We'll set them up over here, and we'll set another one up. We'll set a couple up here too. There we go. And hopefully that helps with the injury problem. 
we'll also make those a little more important so we know those get done before the dams are done and then we can get healed up for uh, some of these beavers once again we're a bit low on logs and i have a feeling for a while we're going to be low on logs so we're going to once again take all of these and just use those as extra things to build with we can use the logs and we don't really need the uh the sap from these most of them have already been gotten but we have plenty of pine sap and there's still plenty to pick up over here they are still working on the dam over here they've got the deepest section done they just have this long section to go here before they can get into pulling up these trees and getting their snack stand set up however in the meantime i have found these wonderful greatest craftsmanship uh monuments and i didn't unlock the dirt because i don't have dirt yet but i unlocked the gear and the treated plank and the gear i'm going to set right there the treated plank right there and give these guys a little bit of uh stuff to work on let's check the other two places and see if there's anywhere else we can put these up here on the mountaintop we're going to perform one of the great sins and remove a shrub but we're going to replace it out here with uh the most great gear and then over here let's see we're going to do the same thing let's put you maybe right here and we'll show off that treated plank for these folks and i think that'll do for now on that let's go check the last district we have a couple of places we can show these off so let's put in the gear here and the plank here eventually when we get the dirt we'll probably put it there and then we can put a bench here but that should give everybody at least a little taste of these two particular uh buffs i don't know how many are going to get it but that's okay our usual clumsy beavers are starting to show themselves so it might be time to get that medical shack but we're going to need dandelions for that so what i'm going to do here is put up a temporary hopefully temporary forester we'll do this and then we will get a gather right in here on the edge and we will say plant dandelions there we go and eventually we might need more dandelions but for the present moment i don't think uh we'll need them just for the medicine mostly i'm going to toss our healer yep right over here there we go and they can pass by all of this great stuff to come and get their stuff for the healing Although it looks like I'm going to be waiting on metal blocks on those. Not a big deal. Our beaver's first snack stand is in. And hopefully that will let them, you know, not be hungry and thirsty on the way to or back from a job. Feed them up just a little bit. We'll see how it works. We'll keep an eye on it. And uh, we'll just go and see if this is really helpful or not. I've never actually tried it. I think I tried it once with logs and it sort of worked and sort of didn't. So we'll keep an eye on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. A little friend here is thirsty. So we'll see if they drop off this log. Then let's go see if they'll stop off at the snack stand on the way back and get a drink. Or if they just decide to go all the way into town. Nope, there they go. They got it. So now they've got a little bit better attitude and they run a little faster so the snack stand is helping out there you go good to know you can put up these little snack stands on long walks and that does help them out i paused our other woodcutters over in town so that, that could grow back up and then we can take out some of these trees because we don't really have too much of a need for this many dead trees Eventually, I'm sure there will be a, another district somewhere in this area. But if we can clear out some of the trees, that might actually be for the best. So we're just going to put down a couple here and a couple there. And let's grab the road. There we go. And make sure that everything is marked in the area. 
Yep, that's good. Yep, that's good. All of this. And we'll let them cut down trees, and they should have plenty to come over here and fill up these two. As you can see, this is getting filled up. Now I just got to find out if our builders are actually pulling from here or they're going back to get logs from somewhere else. Well, that builder did. He ran all the way over here to pull one log, put it there, and then run back, I guess. So that's a bit unexpected. I don't know if that's quite working the way I had planned, but... At least the snack stand seems to be working. Our second dam is in, which when the water comes back here in, well, just under a day, that should save up quite a bit of water. However, in another, I'd say, drought and then water cycle, maybe two, this will start to flood. So I'd like to capture all of that. So we still got to do this dam here, but we got to wait for our beavers to get all the way around the map here. Our second snack stand is in and already has a couple of supplies, so hopefully some of these beavers that have made the long trip over here won't have to return hungry and thirsty, although that guy did for some reason, not sure why, but uh, I don't know, maybe he doesn't want carrots. But anyway, as you can see, two of these dams are already in, and like I said, it is letting the water fill up, so... It's starting to look much greener here. We still have to get our third dam in here. It should not take too long, though. They've got just the stairway and these pieces left with a medium pile that should be holding some logs for them to help speed up the whole process. One quick change we're going to make here is I noticed we've got plenty of potatoes just about everywhere. I think our warehouses are pretty Full of them as you can see both the grilled and the non-grilled type so let's just say let's get rid of all of these and we will replace it with wheat because as you can see we are not doing great on wheat and I'd like to keep up on that it's the ingredient for bread and the maple pastries which uh, is not only the easy to make food or the easy to make a bunch of food but also the highest quality food other than the packaged foods which we will get to once we get metal so we'll swap all that out put in some wheat and we should still be okay and there we have it that is the last of the major dams to hold in most of the water that will come our way eventually you will see all of this filled up with water it's probably going to take a wet season or two but that's okay all we've got is time, but I think that's going to do it for this time. We traveled all the way across the map to get those in. Next time, we're going to look out to this center island to see if we can finally pick up some metal, and we might even get in a mine, but we'll see what we can do then. But as always, just want to say thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Whoa!